Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a reading on the Idaho 4. This is pretty much an updated reading. I want to see if we can go a little bit more into detail in regards to who helped Brian, who's the other perpetrator or perpetrators. A lot of you guys out here are saying he's innocent. In my opinion, he is not innocent. Some of you think otherwise. Clearly they have evidence on Brian. The plot twist is there's other people involved, not just Brian. So I want you guys to think, like, especially for the ones out here that that is backing Brian and saying that he is innocent. Remember when he got arrested? What was the first thing he said? Was anybody else arrested? Like, there's no coincidence why he said that. So there might be three total perps. Other perp is definitely a either drug or alcohol user for sure. Um... There's some type of gossip here. Maybe somebody has speculated this perp. Like maybe gossip has been spread about the second perp. We just don't know because they're not locked up yet. Um, then you have the Page of Pentacles. So that makes me think like, is this a younger individual? Is this somebody younger than Brian? That's got me questioning. Could this person have went to Brian's school? Maybe, you know, he's a teacher. Um... Could there be a school connection of some sort, whether it's the, the Idaho school or the Washington school? Possibly. The hierophant can mean um, school, higher learning. It can even mean a church, okay? Something spiritual or spiritual connection. Um, and then you got travel. So something about travel is connected to the perp. Could somebody be married possibly? Something about maybe a third party situation or gossip, jealousy. This is a depressing type of person. Somebody could have dark hair possibly. Mental health plays a part with this person. They might travel. I, I, I wonder if it's someone that knew one of the victims or knew of one of the victims. The world. Something is a little weird. This is really weird. Um, the second perpetrator. This is what I feel. I feel like there's some type of history um, connected to the second perpetrator to one of the victims. I would say either that or there's clearly a connection to Brian in the perp, but... And then we got like lack of teamwork with three people. So uh, there's got to be some type of third party situation that plays a part. This person is very angry. Um, they could steal, con, scam. Again, maybe they have dark hair. That's a maybe. Um, this is like a crook, kind of like a crook. Maybe this is the person that went in and, and stole something out of the house. Because when I pulled in my last video, um, I told you guys, I feel like somebody snuck through the window. Somebody was trying to steal. It's a, okay. King of Cups, that's Scorpio. Brian's a Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, so there's two men here. I feel like one was doing the killings and one was standby. Because if you look, there's one that has a sword and the other doesn't. The other is like, okay, so one is holding a sword. I think one might be a little older than the other. They're both manipulators though. So Brian is one of these. Um, I feel like one was holding the sword and one was there to like, kind of like maybe be backup or there's something, somebody was there to like steal something or take something. Look, we got money at the bottom of the deck, so something about that it's someone that would do exactly what brian koberger is doing not trying to take accountability acting like they don't have no parts in it the tower because something went haywire or something went absolutely wrong within the house so the second perpetrator is a male what is the connection between the second perpetrator and brian koberger what is the connection what is the connection a female so that's the third. The connection between the two perps, Brian Koberger and the second perp, is a woman. A woman that's got money. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Virgo. There's some type of financial aspect. 
This is interesting. Somebody had a grudge about something. Yeah, because there's a falling out. Like somebody got like extremely angry. It must be a drug connection. Yeah. So it's a drug connection with the female and the two perps. It's a drug connection. Second perpetrator to sum it up could be younger. Definitely a drug connection. How Brian knows this other guy is through a woman. There could be a school or a church connection or somewhere where you're learning, like you're learning. Um, Cause if you look, there's like two people here and they're looking up to this head honcho here. So out of all three perps, somebody was a ringleader and the other two just followed along. Um, there could be a travel connection. They could be maybe not residing in Idaho, maybe, maybe not, or maybe they traveled. Somebody might give up information or there's something about a transaction. <sighs> See a vehicle again. It's going to take time. You know, I don't see this happening overnight. I feel like there's a woman here. When I used to pull on this case in the beginning, I always pulled this for Dylan, which is interesting. There's a woman that's 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 um, holding back information, um, not wanting certain things to come out. So I'm curious about that. I want to ask real quick, since we're speaking about Dylan, did Dylan know Brian Koberger or any of the perpetrators? So, so King of Cups could be Brian... Then again, it could be another perp, the other perp guys. Yeah, she knows one of the perps. Maybe she she knew what they were doing that night. She knew they were coming to steal something or take something. Yeah, high priestess. This is like somebody that's either been to the house before and came back, two people, or um, somebody trying to resurface back into somebody's life or something like that. Yeah, so look, there's some type of exchange here. Dylan Mortison knows, she, I think she, I would assume she knows who's involved. She either knows the Brian Koberger or at least one, one to two of the perps. She does. And then if you look, there's a woman focusing on money again and there there's like a third party situation. Conflict, jealousy. This makes it seem like somebody was in a relationship. Somebody was jealous, maybe. Because there is some type of, like, love aspect to this case. And then we got a female again. I'm asking what role did he play? And there's a woman. There's some type of money exchange. I wonder if he was, like, paid to do something. Or, or a woman's like, hey, go get this money or go get this material thing out of the house. Like, who is this Nine of Pentacles? Who is the Nine of Pentacles? It's got to be connected to drugs, guys. There's an exchange between two people. Two people are given something. Maybe that's what it is. Like this was maybe a payoff in some type of way. That's crazy. Um, who's the Nine of Pentacles? Who's the Nine of Pentacles? Somebody already knows who the Nine of Pentacles is, so I wonder. Maybe the cops know. I don't know. Um, I wonder if the Nine of Pentacles is one of the the um, either survivors or the ones that's deceased. But there is a female involved with this crime, though. This is weird, bro. There's some type of work, work connection. I think he was weighing his options. Devil, all I'm seeing is nothing but drugs. Nothing but drugs. That's all I'm seeing. And then the lovers. So there's some type of love connection here. And then the page of pentacles. That could be the other part. So something is... Hmm. Like, I keep seeing what role did he play? He was so damn high. That's all, you know. He was so fucking high. He was offered something and contemplating it. Describe. The other perpetrator. Yeah, there's some type of spiritual element here. Care. This is going to be interesting. The other perpetrator. The other perpetrator.
Who's the other perpetrator? All right, the other perpetrator. I'm curious if the other perpetrator like has a girlfriend or was in a relationship or two people could have been maybe on their phones. Maybe that's Ethan and Xana possibly. And then I see online community. So something about a social media, online community is connected to the perps. Success, victory. He felt like he was successful. Maybe he was overwhelmed profession maybe he's a literal a cook he has some type of talent here like he's maybe good at cooking handling things with his hands um and then if you look there there was some type of hesitation here there's three people on this card so somebody was told to stop ego ego plays a part with this person Confinement, feeling confined, illness, disease, weakness, all about some money. I wonder what this is about. Did somebody just have a baby or? Hmm. There was some type of goal with the murders here. Ceremony, mystery, magic. Something about a protest here. Loneliness, isolation, maybe they're isolated. This is someone in like a hospital. Hmm. And then we got fright, depression, paranoia, phobia. Interesting. If you guys have any other questions in the chat, let me know. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.